Okay, so I purchased this game, The Last Patient, on Steam to do a Halloween playthrough of it. And I tried running it, and it doesn't run on my PC. It comes up with a loading screen, and then it crashes. Um, so that was uh, £1.69 of my good earthly pennies down the fucking drain. Um, so I came here to look at it, see if there was any advice, technical advice for getting the game running. And it, uh, there didn't seem to be. Uh, but I did notice this when I looked at system requirements. I went, oh, minimum. Intel quad core. I only have a dual core. So you need a quad core to play this game. It's like, oh, no. Oh, well, I mean, let me first of all show you the graphics. Bear in mind, I can run Resident Evil 3 Remake. Resident Evil 3 Remake, a full graphic settings at maximum resolution with no issue whatsoever. And yet this, these graphics that look late 90s in terms of technology will not run on my computer. Poorly optimized shit. Okay. So those are the graphics. Anyway, I looked at this. Yeah, and I was like, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Quad-core, for some reason, because it's so poorly optimised. Then I looked at recommended dual-core. Dual-core. So recommended is a lesser processor than the minimum. Have you got that the wrong way round, idiots who made this game? That tells you all you need to know about the level of competence or rather incompetence for the people who made this. Unbelievable. I went, I went down to look at the reviews and I came across this one. Recommended, mind you. Recommended. So probably uh, one of, probably the guy who made the game or one of his friends put this up because because it's mostly negative. It's people saying this is terrible. This is one of the worst piece pieces of shit, shit ever made. This guy's like recommended. Uh, final rating 17 out of 10. 17 out of 10. So not only is it a perfect game, it's better than perfect. It's one of the it's the most amazing game that was ever made. And, it, and he's, he's got different categories. It's like it's free price. It's free. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Worth the full price worth the full price uh, £1.69 I, I, I paid £1.69 I can't even get the thing to work and even if I did I'd get the feeling that I'd still feel ripped off system requirements this is what really got me system requirements what's a computer 4k on toaster blah 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 the, it requires the power of an international space station but he's saying that like it's a positive, like it's good that this game requires the power of the International Space Station to run. That's not good, you idiot who made this game and is pretending to be a genuine customer. That's not a positive, you, you absolute cretin. Graphics beyond anything beyond the snares beyond outstanding what is reality because i think i'm viewing reality playing this game well i just watched the video and that is not beyond reality that is sub ps1 level graphics content uh like how long does this game last oh well it don't last that long or oh, straight from dollar tree uh, i've been playing this game since 1967 and i'm still not finished well, the game wasn't released in 1967, as well you know, developer. So shut the fuck up. Difficulty. Skull fucking me hard. Again, like that's a positive. Like it's so good that you can't, you can't reasonably play the game. Bugs and glitches. None. None. Oh... Oh, don't be so coy, developer. Pretty sure there's several billion bugs and glitches in your terrible game. 
Summary. This game, uh, let's remind ourselves. Um, how do you get rid of that? Oh, it was 17 out of 10. Uh, summary. This game was so good, it made me cry near the end. Yeah, it made all your customers cry too with tears of regret. Like myself, they're wasting my money on your tripe. Oh, uh, chat is saying that was a joke review. Well, do you reckon? Mm, I know the uh, sort of ratings, the, the possible options were kind of humorous. I don't know if it was a joke review, though. I think you're giving... Uh, I'm more cynical. I tend to think, nah, that was probably either the developer or friend of developer. It's not like uh, it's not like it's an alien concept that uh, cheapskate hack frauds upvote their own. Just look at Amazon. Look at awful novels or whatever on Amazon. There's so many positive reviews for these things that are sold like 10 copies saying, oh, the most amazing book of all time. It's like, no, it's people who knew either the author themselves or people who knew the author. Anyway, one of the reviews uh, said, here we go, uh, not literally not worth your money. There's a better version of the same game that uses the same uh, assets, because this game is clearly an asset flip, a better version available uh, that you can play here. So I figure, yeah, let's do that instead. Uh, so this is called The Asylum. Let's start it up and see. This is called The Asylum. The other one was called The Last Patient. I get the feeling neither... Oh, let me guess. I've been duped again. I bet. I bet this is uh, the person who left the comment saying, don't play this game. There's a far better one called The, uh, the Asylum. It's probably the developer of The Asylum. It's a minefield of getting around disingenuous, uh, uh, fraudulent reviews on Steam. Sort your shit out, Steam, Valve. Sort, sort your shit out. They don't care because they get so, mon so much money, uh, Valve, from Steam. They don't care. They don't, they don't care about quality control or respecting their customers. <laughs> oh, here we go, okay. You awake, dazed and confused. Where are you? This looks like some sort of hospital. But what's that strange noise? What's that strange smell? Smells like a shitty game. Wherever this is, it can't be good. Can you escape the asylum? <laughs> uh, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a fair old crack. Press E to continue. Yes, please. But who knows? I mean, I've got a feeling, like I say, that... Uh, oh, the first thing you've got to do in these things, isn't it, when it's made in Game Guru, is go to... You can't do graphic settings, settings from the main menu. You've got to do it once you start the game. And even though my PC should be more than capable of running this game at maximum resolution with all the effects turned on, it's a processor hog because it's so poorly optimized. So I've got to put a Game Guru game on lowest settings and go back. A resume game. Um, not that putting it on highest settings actually improves much. So, oh, look. Oh, I just collected some health immediately upon starting the game. So, Wait, what is, what is my health there? Is that on the lower right? Is that 150 out of 100 or 3 health? Uh, I'd imagine the heart is health. So I've got 3 health. And what what's the uh, what's the little um, heart monitor thing? Is that like fear level or something? It, or 150 out of 100... A heartbeat. Uh, okay. I mean, mm. the other thing that occurs to me is, it, well, two things. One is this has a very Silent Hill-esque vibe to it. 
um, something tells me it's probably not as good as Silent Hill, but I'll give it a chance. Uh, The other is that how dark are these graphics? Like, it's so dark. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at the state of that? Look, if I go right up to this, that is literally pitch black. I'm expecting Vin Diesel to to turn up because this is pitch black. Boom, boom. Might as well be staring into the abyss and it's staring back at me saying, why did you waste your money on this terrible game? I don't know, Abyss. All right. I'm just stood looking at a wall. It's pitch black. Reverse a little bit. Way too dark. And uh, of course there's no... uh, Let's confirm. There's no settings for uh, brightness or contrast. Like you might expect in a uh, competent game. I mean, of course, this game just used the uh, standard game guru game maker uh, opening title screen like they didn't use a custom opener or anything and this is all asset flips so this is the well it, I mean the review that recommended this <laughs> said themselves uh, yeah well they this game uses the same assets like but they were saying oh this is a good game I really think that was the developer of this game hypodermic needle can I pick that up <laughs> no um, how do I get out of here? Uh, oh, E to open door. Okay. Oh. Oh, pick up Magnum. Three five seven. Three five seven. Is that a real thing? I guess so. I, I'm not a gun nut. I don't know. Okay, we have weapon. Kind of an odd place to leave a weapon, but uh, never mind, I guess. Let's uh, move on. Oh, God, that's odd. The way the door textures warp when you open it. Oh, hello. I see a little arm there. Hello there, mate. Hello. I'm going to shoot your arm off. What? Oh. Um. Guys, I'm I'm here. Is that a clown zombo? It's too dark to tell. It is. This game is literally darker <laughs> than Aliens vs Predator Requiem, and that was the darkest thing of all time. Oh my god, I'm getting hit by damage. What the? Where did you come from? Get out! Get! Oh my days! Oh my god! Oh, that's good, isn't it? The screen goes sort of. Um, I'm gonna say I was gonna say blood red, but it's more sort of, sort of pink red. <laughs> um, that, but I'll tell you what, it makes it considerably easier to see what I'm looking at. Uh, gam, gam. I've got to say, like, being low on health shouldn't be an advantage to the player. I mean, this is like night vision. This is like pink night vision. I can actually see what I'm looking at. It. <laughs> oh, we need to find a key to unlock this door. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but, I, you know, if I were being generous, I'd say, like, uh, maybe that was purposefully designed that way. So when you're low on health, the game helps you a little bit. But, oh, my God, hiding around the corner there. But I don't think so. I don't think the I don't think the developer put that much thought into it. It was just like, well, when they're low on health, let's apply a really pig ugly pink pink filter to things. Uh can't open that door, okay. Uh but it just happens to help us. Like uh wasn't designed that way, just well, uh, Headshot, yes. Right. What? Oh. Well, you you can die too. 
Oh, oh, look at the AI there. He knew what was there. He just stood there and uh, didn't actually react. Oh, for God's sake. Would you look at the state of this? I can't move through that gap there. That's terrible level design. That's awful, isn't it? It's like, if you're gonna if you're gonna make a little gap in your level, make sure the player can go through it, because it's it's not fun to have to go around things like this. And oh, I can't even get through there. I literally so you wait a moment. They put an enemy in an area that you literally can't access. So therefore, presumably, the enemy couldn't even reach you if it tried. Well done, well done. Oh, pick up shotgun, T to replace. Can I, can I not have both? I mean, I'll pick up the shotgun. I don't, I don't want to replace it. Uh, can I switch? I can. What What was point of replace? What is point, Gam? What is point? Um... So we need to find this key, don't we? Oh! Speak of the devil. Oh, seriously, game? It's not exactly obvious there, is it? It's like brown texture on brown texture. But it's only thanks to the bloody prompt in, uh, in white text at the bottom that I'd even know that was there. Imagine if that prompt weren't there. You know, like in Resident Evil, how they uh, gave a glint? to uh, objects that you could pick up to let you know they were there like imagine that little prompt weren't there you'd never know that key was there that's way too easy to overlook but still we have a key oh and of course i can't get through that gap either of course not of course not how silly of me oh my god where the hell did you come from barney's ugly brother can I go through these doors? No. Oh, this this is the key door, is it? Right, okay. Oh. Bin bags. Bin bags, if you please. Do you think that's a meta commentary for this game being garbage? Nah, that's giving way too much credit to the developers. Oh, developers. <laughs> I actually, like that suggests that uh, multiple people worked on this. Clearly a one-man effort, this. Oh, God, I hate the way this is so maze-like, this environment. Ooh, objects. Ooh, lots of ammos. <laughs> and total darkness. Look at that, look at that, look at me looking at the floor. Look at that, look at me looking at the floor. Total darkness. Stare into the abyss long enough, and the abyss stares back at you. Take that, abyss! Um, can we reload? Yes, okay, our key reloads. What else? do keys do Jab jabbing them now uh oh oh we can crouch with c uh and we can jump with space okay oh god i hate the way that all every room looks identical and especially when there's just dark areas you can't even it's not like the shotgun blast lights it up So you got no, and also another thing I've got to point out actually is there's no way, is there? No, there's not. There's no way to um, change the y axes. I like in FPSs for a downward motion on the mouse to move the gun upward and a um, upward motion on the mouse to move the gun down, downward, but. It doesn't do that here. Uh, up is up and down is down. I don't like that. Give me the option, please. Don't make me have to play the game in a way that I'm not comfortable with. Oh my god, look at that. It's 
it's a doorway to hell or a doorway to total darkness um, it's way too dark why did you make this level this level so dark it's ridiculous you can't literally can't see where the boundaries are and that's not a door that works. What is point of this area, developer? What is point? What, why are enemies spawning out of nowhere? Such BS. I'm just pretending all of this lot are the developer, or singular developer. Your developer, your developer, your developer. Reload. Your developer. I hate that. Random enemies spawning. It's like, no, if I've cleared an area, it should be cleared. Oh, this is it's so confusing. A warping door again. I don't know where I'm going. Look how dark that is. It's like there's some sort of oil spill. It's like, how much more black could this be? And the answer is none. None is that good? more black. And even the areas around it, it's ugly. This is pig ugly. Oh god, we've uh, we found a party of zombos here. Well, easily dealt with. Oh, there's another key. Is I just saw a little flash. Where is the key? I just saw a text. There it is. Again, text letting me know something I never would have been able to find otherwise. Can we get through there? No. Uh, I don't think I've found this other door that we can use a key on. Um, let's have a little look. Let's have a little look, see? I can't even remember how to get out of here now. It's... Again, because all the rooms look the same, it's a right pain. This way? It's so disorientating. I mean, I'll admit that orientation has never been my strong suit in life. Uh, low FPS detected, do you want to improve performance? I shouldn't have low FPS, you stupid POS. Uh, but yes, for your FPS, I will. Thank you. Oh, why is that a thing? Why has suddenly the lighting got so much better? But, but too much better. The bloom effect is outrageous now. Now that I've put low FPS setting on. Why is that a thing? Why can I not open this door? I do not understand, Gam. I do not understand. Oh. Oh, this is just garbage. It was quite clearly, quite clearly the review on The Last Patient was... Oh my god, the draw distance. Quite clearly made by the developer of this. Don't play this terrible game. Play my terrible game. Look at the draw distance here. It's like I'm in Time Bandit. Oh, I'll go through the uh, time-travelling black block. Go closer. Go closer. Oh, it's a door. Why would that be black here? And then, oh, it's a door here. And you can't even open it anyway. They're absolutely ridiculous. Can you open this one? No, of course not. What a joke. What an absolute joke. Ammunition store. Authorised personnel only. Ammunition store? Oh yeah, you know, the um, ammunition store in the hospitals. Right next to the burn unit, so it is. Every hospital has a ammunition store. I'm surprised I could even get through that gap. Oh my god, a little gap I can actually get through as the player. Oh, you're right there, mate. You're looking a little bit peaky. Oh, but we can't get through that. Oh, have I just gone full circle? Is this where I was before? Oh, do I have to get a pen and paper out and start mapping this myself? What a joke. It... Oh, I'm back at the start again, for God's sake. 
right okay i know this area has been done that's process of elimination we have to go this way here we go unlock door yes thank you okay let's see what's what oh no you've got to be kidding low fps settings literally make <laughs> make the zombos silhouettes oh for god's sake again i hasten to who oh my god what the hell is this isn't that the guy who um was on the uh trump rally that's the guy who was in the viking helmet who stormed the capital isn't it fuck are you maga racist Look at it, silhouettes. I'm kind of expecting the um, bottom theme to start playing. I mean, for God's sake, my computer is out of date and it is a little bit uh, antiquated. But like I say, I can run Resident Evil 3 Remake, full settings, full resolution. Oh, well, look at that clipping blood. But apparently my PC ain't good enough to handle the sheer awesome graphics on display here. Get lost, game. Get lost, gam. Have some of that, you bifter. What's this? Ammo, right. Can I... Can I... Oh! We have... A uh, spiked mace. Okay. Uh, can I still switch back? Yep. 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 Seriously, what is the point of replace? What? Oh, for God's sake. For God's sake. Would you look at the state of it? Not only do the, t <laughs> not only do the tiles not match up, but the sign is cut in half. Ah, shaking my head, shaking my damn head. Seriously, Gam? Okay, we need to find another key, another well-hidden key to get through that. Oh, oh my God! Oh, that looks like a that looks like a bottomless void. I'm assuming that's a floor. It is. That's like a that's like Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Take a leap of faith. there oh no oh when it gets worse <laughs> apparently we are in a hospital adrift in outer space <laughs> oh dear god oh jesus christ no shotgun <laughs> That's like um, that's like in System Shock when you open the elevator when moving to level two. Except you know, like System Shock is actually a classic, brilliant game. This not so much. Oh, there's more. Hello, mate. You're right there, mate. All right, how's it going? You all right? Can you not see me stood here? No, what if I go here? Hello? Hello? I'm right here. Yo, Meatloaf from Fight Club. I am right here. Is it a boundary thing? What is going on there with that texture? Ooh, ooh, ooh. My God, it's full of stars. 
can we if I cross over this dividing line are they gonna react let's see when they react if I go here oh we got one of those one of them it's um oh we got we got their attention now right okay the AI is just ridiculous Oh, come on. That hit. Sort your hit boxes out. Okay. Any more? Any more for any more? Yes. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, I can, you know, I can just stand here and reload in my own time. There's no rush because they're not reacting. What is that? What is going on with Bozo the Clowns over there? They've sort of melded together in some grotesque abomination from David Cronenberg's The Fly. Seth Brundle's teleportation machines have wreaked havoc yet again. Oh, for God's sake. I see you. What? Oh! By shooting there, I seem to have separated the conjoined twins. I'm a regular surgeon, so am I. What? What happened? What's going on? Wait, why is that... Why is that level complete? What? What? I didn't even kill all the enemies. I was going to say, like, maybe it's because I killed all the enemies, but there was... There was still one Bozo the Clown left. Why is that level complete? And why, why do I have option to continue with nothing else? Like, if you're going to have an option to continue, you think there'd be level stats or something? Like a uh, number of enemies killed, a uh, number of pickups, blah de blah accuracy. Continue, so you get a chance to sort of review how, how you did. But no, let's just continue with the game. Well, obviously, I'm going to continue with the game. Although, with this game, it's probably not so obvious. Because most people... Are, Where's the option to quit? Where's just quit down here? No. God help me quit this POS right now. What? What the fuck? I'm more and more convinced that the uh, person who gave a positive review of this and linked to it on the Steam page made this game. Uh, don't bother with this game. Don't bother with this terrible game. Play this game. It uses the same flipped assets as the this game that's terrible. But this game's really good. You should check it out. This is really good, is it? No, it's not. It's terrible. Uh, overall rating... One out of ten. Uh, no, no, that's ridiculous. One out of ten. No, no. Zero out of ten. 